Okay, Virgo, this is gonna be your twin flame read. There's no time stamp on the message whenever you're led to the message exactly when you need it to hear it. Um, there will be an extended. You can purchase the extended by itself. The link will be in the description box down below. Or you can go to my Patreon page. It's the same price um, to join my Patreon for the month that it is to purchase the individual extended. So for $5, there's only one tier. On Patreon, you can get access to all the extendeds, or you can purchase the individual extended for the same price, which is $5. Now, that being said, um, if you're interested in booking a personal read with me, the my phone number is in the description box down below. You can text me. My cash app is also in the description box, or you can go to my Etsy shop and you can purchase the read through them. It's the same price either way. It's $20 for personal read. Um, and I'll send you the link that way, and it'll be recorded. That way you can watch it and listen to it over and over again. Um, that being said, what else? Oh, and if you're on a twin flame journey, I've written a book. It's available on Amazon, $9.99 for paperback because I, I am one of those people that like the feel of a book and the smell of a book. Twin Flames on a Soulmate Journey. You can find that on Amazon, but you can also find the Kindle edition, which is $5.55. That being said, if you like the, my content, uh, content, absolutely like, describe, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload another video. For some reason, I keep getting tongue-tied. Are you getting tongue-tied? So, I believe that's all of the business side of it. Now, Twin Flame Reads, I still have it separated, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. In the extended, I go in deeper on each side. And I pull a few Oracle cards as well. With these twin flame reads, I've been able to pick up fake twins who you believe is your twin, real twin flame. Now that's the entire thing with this round of the twin flame reads. I'm picking up all karmic twins. So that being said, you never know what will happen here in these reads. But I still have it divided up. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, I'll pull cards for each one, and then I'll go into the description on each side. Now, if a similar card comes up on each side, that is usually and has the potential for energy shifting. So if this is your story, you'll know it's your story. You'll also know where you fit into the story. There's no gender in tarot. We are to balance the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine within ourselves. So it doesn't matter what your gender is. It doesn't. You could be either divine masculine or divine feminine, and it can switch during the read. So, like I said, if it's your story, you'll know it's your story and you'll know where you fit in. So let's pray. Great creator, Father God, divine mother, Mother Mary, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, I just pray and ask for wisdom, clarity, and protection for any messages that need to come through for the collective sign of Virgo for this their twin flame read. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, one more shuffle and we'll put divine feminine cards on the table. Chariot, first card out. Knight of Pentacles, or it's Prince of Pentacles in this deck. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and Eight of Cups. Two of Cups, and I love the description on that card, it's love. Three of Swords, Princess of Pentacles, Judgment Cards, and the Moon. So you got Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like that's the Knight of Pentacles and that's the Page of Pentacles, so. Let's go to the divine masculine side of it. Two more shuffles. All 
right, now, masculine. Let's move some of these decks aside to give us more room here. It's my masculine, six of pentacles, two of swords, page of swords, lower this down a little bit, I'm very OCD with that, nine of swords, and three of pentacles. Eight of Cups, we've got Eight of Cups here on both sides. This could be the potential where they flip. Queen of Cups, Piscean Energy, Knight of Wands. Page of Cups and there's the star, Aquarian Energy. Okay, here we go. Now, start out with Divine Feminine. The Chariot and then you get to the Prince of Pentacles, which I feel like with Prince of Pentacles, it's Page of Pentacles as the Princess of Pentacles. I feel like in this deck is the Knight of Pentacles. No, it's the opposite way around. So that's the Knight. So you got the fastest moving card in the deck and the slowest moving card in the deck. Then it goes to Nine of Pentacles, which is Harvest, Gain, Seven of Swords, which is my Thief card. And then Eight of Cups, all in your heart. Now, go through this as a storyline. Fast movement forward and then a delay. You get the divine feminine feels like they have a harvest and then it's stolen from them. They're following their hearts. There's soulmate connection here, two of cups. And I feel like it's with the divine masculine. And then three of swords, heartbreak. There's this energy on the divine feminine side of one step, two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, one step back. Like it's whatever push they make, they feel like it's being stolen from them. Then page of pentacles, judgment call and the moon. The moon is very divine feminine energy. I feel like with the divine feminine, they were trying, like it's a push to where they're trying to push through this because this is external forces that's trying to hold them and keep them stagnant and in this process of stalemate until they unlock of how to get out of it. And I feel like Divine Feminine has with Page of Pentacles, which is the students learning what's happening and that there is a cycle here. So they're learning this. Now, in order to get out of this stalemate that external forces have placed on them, Judgment call, they are tapping into their divine feminine energy. Now I'm gonna give you a little heads up with this. If you have, and it's so rampant now, it makes me sick. It makes me sick and disgusts me. If you have karmic, those people that are truly in this like karmic energy that is practicing witchcraft, I'm not even gonna say witchcraft because that's an insult to witchcraft. Witchcraft is very healing practice. It's about healing, it's about um, earth energy, and it's about tapping into your spiritual gifts. Now, I'm talking about manipulative magic, black magic. Now, if you have someone on the outside that is doing that and keeping you in this stagnant mode to where it's trying to keep the two of you apart, the freedom here is to tap into your divine, your divinity, basically, your goddess, goddessness. I'll say goddessness. Is that a word? I like the word. The moon card is very divine feminine energy. And when you tap into your goddess energy, you push back this external interference you push it back because what you do is when you tap into your inner goddess it calls their inner god to you and vice versa so when they tap into their inner god it calls their inner goddess to them so someone could be over here doing all kinds of stuff they can it doesn't matter because the secret to this is tapping into your divinity 
when you tap into your divinity, you call the other person's divinity to you and vice versa. And when they tap into their divinity, you, they call the divine feminine's divinity to them. And I feel like the divine feminine has figured that out and has gone through these stages of, I'm trying to do this and it gets blocked. I'm trying to do this and it gets blocked. I'm trying to do this and it gets blocked. I'm trying to do this until they get to this final stage of tapping into their divinity. Now it's opening up. The divine masculine, six of pentacles, reconnection. That's reconnection card. Six is earth energy. Pentacles, six of pentacles is reconnected to your soul tribes, reconnected to yourself. Rounding yourself, two of swords, being at the crossroads. Page of swords, a very spying card, spy card. Page of swords, too, is about changing your mode of communication, changing the way that you approach a situation. Now, this is the thing, two of swords, you can either go with, and it's the crossroads, so they have two choices here. And I feel they've taken this choice. They can either reconnect, that's six of pentacles, or they could go this direction. This direction was changing the way they approach a situation, changing their thoughts and actions toward the situation. And you see this, my red candle? The candle that I'm burning is called virtue candle. It's going right to the chariot card. Now, so the divine masculine has taken this approach of changing the way they communicate. Nine of swords, grieving card. This is healing energy. This sleepless nights is obsessively thinking. Three of pentacles, working together, teamwork. Is this reversed? That is reversed. So it's getting out of their head. No longer sleepless nights. This is healing energy. That's why I picked up healing energy. Eight of cups connects here. All in your heart. Piscean energy of the queen of cups, knight of wands, wanting to go in, rush in to talk because that is not the divine masculine's energy. That is divine feminine's. Knight of wands, wanting to rush in and communicate. Page of Cups, because, okay, Page of Cups to me is about creativity, but it's also a level of childlike love, innocent love, bringing out the inner child in both of them, their inner divinity. We are at our most divine when we are children, because that's when our light hasn't been grayed by adult interference. When we get to be adults, Part of our ascension is to reclaim our inner child innocence. The star card is very healing energy by getting, it's healing through the right kind of attention. This is also being the star of your own life. This is taking the center stage, this is making yourself priority. This is making choices that is specifically for you. What is best for you? Which direction? This is embracing their inner God, their inner divinity. I love this beautiful energy from both sides. So divine feminine, three more cards. King of cups, I love this. Queen of cups, king of cups. Seven of pentacles, and there's the four of wands. Now, queen of cups is not the divine masculine's energy, it's divine feminine's. Just like king of cups is divine masculine's energy, not the divine feminine's. The two of them are connecting because both of them have done this inner journey of rediscovering that divinity. Mm -hmm. um, their inner divinity and it's calling both of them to one another. Seven of Pentacles planting new seeds. Four of Wands is about stability. This is about structure. This is about foundation. This is making changes to, we, have, we are home to our spirit, but we have a physical home. This is making changes to oneself, to one's home. Fours are about that stability, that comfort level, foundation. So the divine feminine, as they come closer together, they are elevating. 
and they are pushing one another to elevation. King of Pentacles, there's Virgo energy, two of cups, see, two of cups on both sides here. And the tower, the tower is immediate change. The tower isn't anything to fear and it's not a bad thing. This is just immediate change. This could be love at first sight. Love at first sight does the same thing at, because the love at first sight is tower moment. It's blasting you out of the water. This is connecting emotionally on a soul level unlike any other connection they've had before. That's where the tower moment comes in because it blows their whole perception of connections out of the water. This is beautiful. King of Pentacles is also divine masculine energy of knowing which direction to place their energy to, to pull out the pentacle. So if you're interested in the extended, link is down below. You can purchase the individual extended or you go to my Patreon page. Um, and get access to all of the extendeds. And it's the same price either way. $5, just one tier. And the individual extended is $5. So that being said, Virgo, this is part one to your twin flame read, love and light. Ooh.